Hi everyone, I'm Carol with Carol's Cricut Crafts. I imagine by now you've heard about the new AI Create Access feature in Cricut Design Space. If you haven't already, you'll want to watch my launch video here on my channel. I'll also add a link to the video in the description below. It's important that I mention again that this feature is exclusive for Access subscribers and it's a very slow rollout in Design Space Beta. If you don't see it yet, it's coming. Not everyone will have it at the same time. You can get ready for it now by switching over to Beta if you are currently using the live version. I can show you again how to do this if you don't know already. By popular request, I've been asked to show how to break down the single layer AI generated images to create multi layers using multi colors and other ways to customize your images. Let's get started. Let's get started by recapping how to switch your design space live to beta. For those who are currently working in live or don't remember how to do this, we'll just click on my drop down where I see my name. We'll go to settings and you can see application experience beta or live. You just need to choose beta and click done. Give your design space a moment to switch over to beta and you'll be all set to go. You might not see Create AI right away. As I mentioned, this is a super slow rollout. If you don't have it yet, hang in there. It's coming and it is an Access exclusive feature. Just another great reason to be an Access subscriber. So I'm going to click on Create AI. You can see that I had 40 credits for AI images. That was 20 for June and 20 for July. I've been playing with it a lot to discover what I can do with it and also to record videos. So I'm down to nine credits. That's all I have left. I'm going to use an image that I generated yesterday to record this video because I am running out of credits. Let's see. Yesterday I used create an image with a Christmas tree, stars, ornaments, best wishes, happy holidays, and holly streamer. And if I click generate now, I would have two versions that I can choose from or choose both. If I go to saved, this is the one that I saved yesterday. You can see all the images I've been playing with. And this is the one I'm going to use now. Let's move this out of the way so I have more space. I think I'll make my background another color so that if I use anything white, you'll be able to see it pop off of my screen. This is the image we're going to work with. I'm going to click on my layers panel and see a second group. I will click on that group and you can see all the elements of the image. Let's select that group and in order to make any changes to anything individual in these elements, I will need to detach. I'm also going to ungroup this image because I want to be able to move things around and make changes to them. Let's go ahead and take this tree and move it to the side. I'm going to select all these stars together. I'm going to group them and I want to change the color, let's say to gold. That's a bit bright. We'll go to advanced and we'll use that gold color. I can put my tree back. Let's move this over to the center. On the tree, I'm going to add an offset background. I'll select the offset, go to contour, and hide all contours. I'm going to make it red, a little darker, and move it to the back. 
and now I have red ornaments on my tree. I'm going to change my tree to green. Isn't it fun that we can make all these changes? There, I have gold stars, a green tree, and red ornaments. I'm going to select the holly and move it down. And I'm going to select the text all together and group it so I can change it all at one time. And I'll make that red also. Now, the holly is all in separate pieces. We don't want to do that all in separate pieces. So I'll go back to my layers panel and select all the elements of the holly. We have that. Is there anything else? Yes, there and there. That looks like we got it all. Oh, here's another one. That's all the holly. I'm going to group those and I'm going to change them to green. Now I have the ribbons and all the cherries. Of course, you can be using any colors you want. We'll select all the cherries. There we go. And let's change those to red. Isn't that pretty? I should have grouped all those, but here the holly is changed. So we'll move that up. I'll select all of these together and group them. And move that back up into place. Isn't that terrific? So we've changed all these colors. If I'm going to cut this out of cardstock or vinyl, let's say, I want to take this group, which is the holly, and attach it so it doesn't move on my mat. I'll take this group, which is the cherries and ribbon, and attach. I will take this group, which is the text, and attach. I will take the stars and attach. And of course, there's no need to attach the tree. Oh, I also want to add a gold star onto the tree. So let's take these, move them aside. We'll detach them. I'm going to ungroup them again, and I'm going to take one of the larger stars and duplicate it. And let's move it over onto the tree and make it a little larger so it stands out. There we go. And we'll put these back. We'll group them again. Put that back. I'll take that group and take the extra star that I added and the group and attach them together. So there we go. Isn't that great? Okay, let's find another way to use this for print and cut. So I'm going to leave that as is and duplicate. I'm going to detach all my layers. That only takes a second detach all my layers. So let's take this tree and the holly. Let's say I want to give them more detail for print than cut, if I'm going to use them for print and cut. I'm going to go to images and I'm going to choose a vintage green background so I get a sheet of color. And let's see what comes up. We see a lot of choices. Let's find something we like. Maybe something like this that shows a lot of variation in color. Yes, I'm going to work with that. So I'm going to take my tree, bring it to the front, and put it on the sheet maybe here where there's a lot of color and take my holly. I should move it to the front, of course. And let's put it here where there's more variation in the color. I'm going to select the tree and the background and slice. OK, 
take that away. There's my tree. Well, that's pretty. And I select the holly, but I don't see the option to slice because the holly is all individual pieces. So all I need to do is go to combine and weld to make it a single image. Then I can select it again, select the background, and now I have the ability to slice. Let's take that one away and we'll keep this one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to delete these two. I don't need them anymore. And delete. So you can see that you can add lots of color to this project that starts out as a single layer black image. Let's move up the holly. And put it back in place. Isn't that terrific? Gorgeous. Now if I want to use it for print and cut, I wouldn't want to, oh, I need to move this back so we can see the gold star. Send backward. Oh, there's the gold star. I'll just grab it and bring it to the front. That'll be quicker. There we go. So this is a lot of little pieces. I wouldn't want to do print and cut and have them all cut out individually, all the letters separately, all the stars separately. So in that case, I'm going to go to Shapes. I'm going to choose a shape. Let's say this one with the rounded corner. You would want to resize it whatever size you're working with. So we'll just drag this down. I'm going to make my background white. You can make it any color you like that works with your machine for print and cut and send to the back. Let's select all this together and make one group out of it so that we can center it on the background. And then we'll just select both together, align and center. And there we go. Select both together again and flatten. Okay. Let's see how these will differ when we send them to make. And you can see there is our print and cut. And here is the cut only that we prepared. All ready to cut out for vinyl or cardstock or iron on whatever you use to you choose to use. So isn't that terrific? That's how easy you can do this. I used a vintage green background to make the tree layer and the holly layer. You can also use pattern fill if you prefer to do that. I think this AI Create is an amazing new feature and I hope you're an Access subscriber so you will have access to this feature along with lots more. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's going to be helpful to you when you start using Create AI in Cricut Design Space Beta. Don't forget that beta part. Please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't already and give this video a like. You'll be helping me with YouTube. Thank you for watching.